Welcome to Insight, the Times Aerospace TV programme where we talk to the key players in our business about the innovations and strategies that are truly making a difference as we recover from the pandemic and embrace the challenge of delivering a sustainable industry. Now the engine manufacturers clearly have a massive role to play, so I'm delighted to be talking today to CFM International's Chief Executive, Gael Mihust. Welcome Gael. Our focus today is on the future and your RISE programme. RISE stands for Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines. You launched this six months ago. Tell us what is the essence of RISE? Absolutely, Mark. Thank you very much for having me in this interview. Well, at CFM, we have a long history of bringing ever more efficient engines to the market. You know, CFM products have collectively reduced fuel consumption by a total of 40% compared to the engines they replaced back in the uh, 1980s, right? So that means that we have also reduced CO2 emissions by 40% in that time frame because there's a one-to-one -one ratio here. You know, 1% fuel consumption improvement means 1% fewer CO2 emissions. The LEAP, you know, the famous LEAP engine that we introduced in 2016 is 15% more fuel efficient than the previous generation of engines. Some customers actually uh, are seeing as much as 20% compared to the older aircraft that they have in their fleet. And so as a result, LEAP engines are producing 15 to 20% less CO2. So are we proud of this? Yes. But why we are proud of that achievement, especially with the LEAP engine, we know that it takes uh, decades to bring truly innovative products to the market. And so um, CFM parents company never stop investing. And this is why on June 14th, 2021, they launched this new technology acquisition and maturation program called CFM RISE that you rightfully, uh, Mark said, stands for Revolutionary Innovations for Sustainable Engines. You see uh, this program embodies CFM's mission to push the limits of innovation to develop, to demonstrate, and uh, to bring to the market breakthrough technologies that will advance the industry and protect the planet. Uh, the RISE program goals include reducing the fuel consumption and CO2 emissions by more than 20% compared to today's most efficient engines. And in addition, will be 1% uh, sustainable aviation fuel compatible or even hydrogen compatible. Now from the CFM56 family to LEAP, GE and Safran have invested heavily in engine technology over the years. Has the demand for more sustainable aviation necessitated you to accelerate your normal engine R&D cycle? Actually, Mark, we didn't have to accelerate our, our normal R&D cycle. You know, CFM and its parent companies understand the role we play in helping the industry achieve its goal to become carbon neutral by 2050. And uh, I can tell you, we take that role very seriously. And in fact, GN Safran spent billions of dollars over the last decade to continuously bring innovations to our product. So we have a clear ambition to develop and bring to market products that will dramatically reduce fuel burn and carbon emissions while meeting the, uh, the reliability standards that airlines have come to expect from CFM. Mm -hmm. And of course, the same level of uh, cabin comfort for the passengers. What are the key technologies that you will be working on as part of RISE? Well, so first, um, we are working on a complete different engine architecture. We are working on an open fan. 
which will bring a, a true step change in propulsive efficiency. You see, uh, today's engines have a ducted fan, so you, you cannot see a, any of the engine. It's encapsulated in cowlings, you know, we call it the cell. So to visualize an open fan, you have to imagine an engine with several large fan blades, you know, four meter diameter in front that are not encased in anything. And so, although it will have a very different look than anything passengers are accustomed of to seeing today, uh, the fan, uh, the open fan will provide the same level of comfort and speed as conventional engines with, of course, uh, a much, much better fuel efficiency. So open fan. Now, with the open fan comes a new high temperature compact core that will yield very high compressor pressure ratios to enhance the thermal efficiencies. Um, there will be new materials like the CMCs, you know. I, I love CFCs. CFCs are, are amazing material. They are one third the weight of a conventional metallic parts, they're twice the strength, and they resist to temperature, 20 percent higher temperatures. So, so we are we are of course working high on, on CMCs. We are looking at hybrid electric solutions. We are exploring inventive options for integrating uh, engines into a more electric aircraft. Um, this system will optimize engine performance by providing additional electric thrust, but also uh, generating electricity for both itself and for the aircraft. Now, now, I know it's early days for RISE, but how have your airline customers and indeed the airframers reacted to the program and your focus on open fan technology? I mean, we visit airlines throughout the world and we sit down with them and we show them our goals. And of course, the, the goals of reducing emissions and, and, and fuel consumption by 20% is absolutely, we cannot believe how well received this is you know, from the marketplace. And uh, we show them the op open fan concept. We also uh, take them through the various ideas that I just explained, of course, with a little bit of more detail. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they have this, I guess, this strong belief based on CFM history that CFM can of always end up a meat of a deliver, you know, a little bit of our DNA. Mm -hmm. So, um, so with all of that, I, I mean, we are really uh, having this very interactive di dialogue with them. And again, I can, I, the enthusiasm is, is fantastic. So we are very excited about it. And what is the timeline for Rise Gale? Okay, so, well, we have a lot of work, as you can imagine. We have ahead of us uh, 300 different tests across 150 test vehicles, including rigs modules and of course full engines you know we are testing technologies from the front of the engine to the back of the engine we have already uh, completed several tests uh, as a matter of fact of course some are in process and, and many others uh, will begin further in the development phase but a couple of examples of what we have already uh, completed include a wind tunnel test for the open fan and, uh, and, and a demonstration of our hybrid electric system. But so the main milestones that we have ahead of us actually is to achieve ground and flight testing of this uh, open fan concept in the middle of the decade. Mm. And uh, we want to be ready for uh, an entry into service around 2035. Uh, of course, if this is a timeline decided by the airframers, they are the one who decide, of course, on the timeline. Finally, Gael, as 2021 draws to a close, how do you see the market as we prepare for 2022? Well, the traffic, the single eye traffic, would, you know, single eye is the, the, the market for CFM, so that's the one we follow in more in particular, is back at 75% worldwide compared to uh, where we were 
in 2019, which is already a good trend of improvement because if you remember earlier this year, we were, uh, you know, 50% only uh, of, of the 2019 uh, traffic numbers. We think we will be back to uh, pre-pandemic traffic levels late 2022, early 2023. Um, if you look at the LEAP engine, for instance, interestingly, the, uh, the LEAP powered aircraft have already returned to their pre-pandemic uh, utilization rates. Uh -huh. So faster as, uh, than the average of the, leap, of the fleet, sorry. Uh, so, so that's good news. And we believe that in 2022, uh, the rest of the fleet will follow that trend. And so despite the difficulties that we have encountered uh, throughout the last 20 months, we are optimistic that 2022 will be the year that take us, takes us back to full recovery. Many thanks, Gail, for your time and for shining the spotlight on CFM's RISE programme and giving us your outlook for 2022. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome, Mark. Thank you.